Do you know what the shape of the earth is? When asked about this, people usually say, it's round like a ball. However, earth shape is more complicated than that. In fact, it's so complicated that there's a whole field of earth science concerned with measuring earth shape. This is the field of geodesy, which comes from the ancient Greek word geodesia, which means the vision of earth. Hi, I'm Anna Z, an undergraduate geospatial information sciences major at the University of Texas at Dallas, and I'd like to tell you about the shape of the Earth. The ancient Greeks were the first to figure out that the Earth was spherical. Around 250 BC, Aristosthenes did a remarkably good job calculating Earth's radius. He used observations at two Egyptian cities, Alexandria and Syene. He determined shadow angles for each city during the summer solstice, when the sun at Syene is directly overhead, so it casts no shadow. At the same time, 845 kilometers, or 525 miles, to the north in Alexandria, the sun casts a shadow. With the angle and arc distance, he calculated a circumference that's within a few percent of the Earth's actual circumference. During the 17th to 18th century, accurate navigation at sea became increasingly important. This required better knowledge of the shape of the Earth. Otherwise, ships would hit rocks and sink, or end up at the wrong location. Scientists realized that Earth is not perfectly spherical, but is better approximated as an ellipsoid, with different radii at the poles and the equator. Isaac Newton in 1687 showed that a rotating, self-gravitating body, like the Earth, is better described as an ellipsoid than a sphere because it is flatter at its poles and fatter at the equator. Testing this hypothesis required multiple measurements between the equator and the poles. Technical improvements allowed surveyors to confirm Newton's ideas, and they found a 20-kilometer difference between the polar and equatorial radii. It became common to use ellipsoids based on regional arc measurements. It is not practical to make these measurements at sea, or completely cover continents, until satellites were used. It was well known that the ellipsoid was only a useful approximation to the real shape of the Earth, which is known as the geoid. The geoid is a smooth but irregular surface whose shape results from the uneven distribution of mass within and on the surface of Earth. In the 19th century, physicist George Stokes showed that the geoid could only be determined by gravity measurements. Fast forward to 1957, when the USSR put the first satellite in orbit. In the space age, we can accurately measure global gravity, and thus the geoid, by tracking satellites. Modern geoid models have thousands of parameters instead of two. At most, there is a 100 meter difference between the ellipsoidal model and a geoid. As a result, we now have a much better understanding of the Earth's true shape. Scientists who study Earth shape are called geodesists, and their field of study is called geodesy, which is a branch of geophysics. Earth shape changes a little bit all the time, and with satellite data, geodesists can update models of the Earth shape in real time. Geodetic information is valuable for many reasons, such as land use, planning, navigation, disaster management, national security, and space exploration. Many applications of satellite global positioning, which we rely on so heavily in modern society, would be impossible without a detailed understanding of the geoid. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. I sure did by making it. Don't forget to check out the other videos at the UTD Geoscience Studios YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe.